A new study looks at whether taking a low-dose aspirin reduces the risk of diabetes in older adults. Experts say the research does show the aspirin can have a positive impact. Lacey Griffith has tonight's Woman's Doctor. LaShawn Reed came to Mercy Medical Center a few months ago. My diabetes was out of control. They call it uncontrolled diabetes. So I primarily came in for that. LaShawn says before she was diagnosed with diabetes, she knew something was off with her health. General fatigue, uh, maybe uh, excessive urine, you know, that, that type of thing. That's when she got a full workup with family nurse practitioner Jennifer Piper. And her daily routine now includes aspirin. But could aspirin actually help reduce the risk for type 2 diabetes? Piper told us about a recent study on adults 65 and older. So the researchers were interested in, in confirming that aspirin had a beneficial impact on reducing type 2 diabetes and therefore the incidence of cardiovascular disease in older adults. Piper says the older patients in the study did not have diabetes or cardiovascular disease. They found that those taking an aspirin 100 milligrams a day, which is a little higher than our standard baby aspirin, had a 15% risk reduction in developing type 2 diabetes. But Piper says a sister study actually showed the same group of people had a 38% increased risk of bleeding and had no increased benefit for prevention of cardiovascular disease. Even though LaShawn doesn't fall into that age category, Piper says adding the aspirin to LaShawn's routine has been beneficial. Her numbers are great and um, hopefully that will translate into longevity and lower risk for cardiovascular disease. Another step in the right direction for LaShawn's overall health. The plan now is just to eat better, um, exercise more. I'm gonna try to work out today. In Baltimore, Lacey Griffith, WBAL TV 11 News. And while the study is interesting, Piper says more research is needed before doctors would start prescribing aspirin to help prevent diabetes.